Good afternoon, everybody. Pastor Rick here, Broadman Baptist Church. This is the Broadman Word for March 27th, 2023. Can't believe we're already into spring and that March is already over, but, you know, that is what it is. And today, um, looking around and seeing little buds on everything and grass greening up and all kinds of uh, early spring type thing going on, it, it spurred me to think about um, John chapter 3. 17 and 18 about life so let me read to you uh, it said for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him whoever believes in him is not condemned but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of god's one and only son so as we can see there is a very clear delineation between folks there are those who have uh, believed in the name of the Son of God and those who have not. And there are some who will be called to light and life, and the ones who reject God will not. They will face eternal separation, condemnation uh, from God after their last days here on earth. So the application for us then is to understand that we have very important work here to do. We've all been given specific jobs in the kingdom, and we've been given the tools and equipment necessary uh, through the Holy Spirit to do that work and to do it well. We have God to depend on for spiritual maturity, wisdom when we ask for it. We have the Holy Spirit as a guide to guide us through each and every situation and we don't have to rely on our words. We can use God's words. We can use the tools God gave us. And so there's really not much else for us to do except to make our way through this life with no assumptions. And what do I mean? I mean that we know that not everybody's going to be called to the Father, but we don't know who and we can't make any assumptions we have no time for such things uh, we have no test that we can give to see if somebody's going to respond to a call from the father there is no um, barcode on anybody thank goodness there's no chip to scan no qr code um, no uh, ct scan that can be done to figure out who's going to be called. So we then have to assume that everybody we encounter is in need of the light of Christ. We must, in every situation, with every person that we come into account with, we must shine the light of Christ that's in us, on them, at least for the time that we're there with them. And then we must hope that that light caused them to want to seek a relationship with God, to find out what it is that makes you so different than everybody else, and to want to have a part of that, to understand what it is that gives you uh, your joy, your faith, your hope, your light. And in making no assumptions, then, we can't really afford to pass anybody up. And I mean everybody. Being a Christian is not an easy call. It is not something to be taken lightly. It's not just a part of your life. It is your life, the totality of your life. You're not here to do whatever earthly job you have. You're here to do the job that God has you to do in the kingdom. That earthly job, or however it is you sustain yourself, is there for your physical support so that you can go and do the work of God. The work that he set out for you, the work that he equipped you to do, and sent you on your mission upon profession of faith in Jesus Christ, his son. And so with that knowledge... We must walk out the door every day with a plan. We must be focused. We must be intentional. 
you know who you're going to see approximately in what situations you're going to see them in and you need to have uh, a plan for that situation and for that person for them to hear what they need to hear not what you need want them to hear but to hear what they need to hear that requires you to know them first um, blind dropping of scripture might be kind of dramatic but it's very seldom useful in any particular situation scripture is always good and true always good for um, anybody but when you're trying to um, show somebody the light of Christ uh, cold dropping scripture is probably not uh, the best way to introduce Christianity to somebody it can be off-putting without context and understanding so then you have to do the hard work you have to understand their situation why have they not come to hear or know the word of Christ yet um, what is it that might be holding them back? What concerns do they have? Uh, what questions do they have? And you need to work your way into that situation until you are able to begin to connect dots for them through Scripture, through the Word of God. Uh, analogies from your own life or the life of others are always awesome. Um, showing applicability of Scripture in your life and the life of others also very awesome and then just straight up knowing the various stories from the bible at least some that you can employ to get the individual to understand that scripture applies to them as well all of these things are necessary for us and the reason is we want to avoid the already condemned because they have not recognized um, the Son of God. We need to at least give them the opportunity. We need to at least be the ambassador of the gospel. We need to at least hold the hand out to them to come from the darkness into the light and save themselves from condemnation. So listen, brothers and sisters, it's a big job. It is a mighty job with big responsibilities, and it requires a lot of planning. So my urging to you today is to not be quite so casual about your Christianity. Um, be more responsible with it. Understand what it is and what it requires of you, and then understand how you're gifted to meet that responsibility, and then make an intentional, purposeful plan on how you can do that. Uh, within the realm of your life. Listen, I love you. I'll see you next time.